hardly what you boys are the history process. I want you to understand that every one of you, you are part of the proud tradition and history of this school. As I was sitting here in the I was reflecting on. Boys, never ever forget that you are part of the tradition and legacy of this school. It is the boys that make the South Coast School. The young men, particularly the boy community. Boys, for example, I may not have been boy down for eight years, but I'll never forget things like the race. You don't forget things like that when you're a boy. You don't forget Benedictus and Benedict the age of Pith and Don and Austin. You don't forget that. It's there for me to the day you die. As will be a lot of the experience that you've had in your time here. You boys are the soul of TSS. And no one can deny that or take it away from you. You live here, you breathe this place. You walk this earth of this school every day of your lives. <coughs> It filters through every crevice of your body and never leaves you. On Saturday, I got on the 16 C, 16 B bus to Downwards. 75% of the boys on that bus are boarders. Playing for TSS. And every one of those boys, they gave their all. The sacrifice meant nothing. There's a school that ends the most important thing of all. In your time here, in this school, you make the most of every minute, because I can tell you they're precious. At 63 years of age, which I am now, my time is running low. I want to make the most of every moment I've got left at TSS. And I want you to make sure you do the same. Boys, your numbers might not be as great as they are your numbers. But I tell you what, the impact in your presence is equal, if not greater. And many people would agree with me on that. Boys, this school has a very rich history. And of course, New Day houses were introduced due to the increase of population of the school. But the boarding community was always strong. If you go and have a look at the signing of this school at the entrance to the, the TSS, it says the Southport School Boarding and Day School. There is a reason why boarding is first. Because the traditions and history of this school link back to its boarding past. The house system, predominantly in the history of this school, has revolved around three houses. Dolbra, McKinley and Dolbra. You go into the memorial room, you'll see the city of those three houses on the day stained glass windows. Those three houses and the boys who live in those houses used to actually frequent the six clock tower building. Thorough on the bottom, your friend in the middle, and the family on the top. It was very, very different to now. When I first came here in 85, every night the evening bill was for dinner. Every evening it was for dinner. And you were, you were glad that your house served first that night. If you ate just after six. If you were fourth on the list that night, you had to wait to quarter to seven before you got your car. And so what did they do to stop boys getting restless? They used to put buckets of bread on the tables. 
Pretty good, I hope the baby side is more than something so great as I wipe up and go. Thank God the bonds are shining. Okay. Got it. Now, you've got to understand in terms of the history of PSS, the buildings are the product of the people. You guys, particularly in Melbourne, the King and Thorold, the three men who your houses are named after outstanding individuals. They were gentlemen scholars. They were visionary soon. So much did they believe in this school that they actually paid for their own residences. Maurice Delbrack, he had even went to World War I with the boys at school. He enlisted as a soldier and went to World War I with other Delbrack boys. Unfortunately for Delbrack, he was captured on the first day of conflict. The rest of the war in the BOW. Amazing, amazing event. Now, boys, Middle House, of course, is very close to me, the house after for many years. That was established in 1988. As I told you, PSS by name is a boarding and day school. And will always be that a boarding and day school. Boys, to conclude with tonight, I want to reflect on some of my greatest memories in Baltimore. There are many, many of them, and I'm sure that your house masters or resident masters will agree. They are wonderful, rich experiences. I remember my visits out west. I used to go out west every year with the matron, the wife of my two little girls there, who are now big girls. And we'd meet many of the families. And it was a great experience. Because he taught me so much about you. That great expanse of Australia. The urban people and people living in cities do not get to experience. He also enabled me to value how incredible and precious water is. Particularly when your whole life is dependent on it for your animals and your crops. And when it is drought, how difficult it is, how sad it is when you see your crops wither up in front of your eyes and your animals thirsty for water that is not there. It's when you go out west, you experience things like this. And when you go overseas to meet the parents and boys, how much they miss their children, that they know that it's the best place for them to be at this time of their lives. And the sacrifice is worth it. Boys, you are definitely the soul of TSS. You go to the chapel and you hear these beautiful hymns. The waters just totally drown throwing it out. I remember only, I think it was last term, I think one of your houses, the chapel with the three neighbors' houses, it was embarrassing. You guys just, you had to, you got to see your soul of school. If anyone doesn't get emotional singing some of those things, there's something wrong. Boys, believe in your house. Believe in those who you have followed. Carry on the good traditions of PSS. Be proud of your house and your school and do not be afraid to show it. Boys, you are the true believers of TSS, the boys. This school will always need you.